welcome back to vlogmas episode four it is thursday today so it is the day after when i last ended the previous video oh my goodness it's a beautiful day today i have washed my hair curled it and i'm just doing my makeup ready for a day of filming i've had quite a lot of requests for uh, like Christmas day outfit looks and party wear and just kind of like everyday winter style so I'm gonna get that filmed today I'm actually really looking forward to filming some new reels I've been a bit slack with filming reels lately so I'm excited to get back into it I was actually getting a couple of questions about moving and where we're moving to and what the house is like. So we are moving in the spring, which I'm so excited about. So in a couple of months time, you can expect moving vlogs, packing, organizing. Oh my God, honestly, when I think about that, it does fill me with quite a lot of stress because when I moved from my um, family home to this apartment, we weren't moving any furniture. We were literally just moving ourselves. I mean, Jack barely had anything. I had a couple more bits of furniture. Whereas this time we have a lot of things and it's just gonna be a huge task. And I've also accumulated a lot of stuff. So, you know, just like household stuff. Whereas when I moved into here, I didn't have like kitchen things. I didn't have like an ironing board or just all of those things. So it is going to be a task and I'm a little bit nervous about it, but it will be fine. I've actually never moved house properly, like moved a whole house. Um, I have when I was really young, but I don't remember. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about that, but obviously I will bring you along with me and there will be lots of like organising tips, packing tips. I'm going to be clearing out stuff. So yeah hopefully you'll really enjoy that content i'm not gonna um talk through my makeup because it's always the same you guys know by now exactly what i'm using living here has been amazing and i'm so grateful that we managed to find this apartment and we've spent the last year here it has been such a dream we have just absolutely loved everything about it like living together decorating like a brand new apartment so it hasn't been stressful it's just been a really enjoyable process and so much has happened in the year that we've lived here i've learned to drive just so much has happened and it's just been such a lovely experience and i'm so glad we did it we were, jack was very reluctant to live in an apartment because he is such an outdoors person but it's actually been amazing However, we are very much ready to move and have a bit more space. So yeah, I'm very excited and it is gonna be a big project. The house is pretty old and it needs a lot of love and just like modernizing and updating to our style pretty much. I think that it's the same with any home that you move into, even if it's just been done, it's not always gonna be up to your taste. So yeah. I'm so excited it's going to be a really exciting journey and I just know that oh I feel like this concealer is a bit too dark for me I'm really kind of coming into my own era if that makes sense like I'm really finding lifestyle that I love and like I don't know I just feel so excited to be around nature and get back into really good routines and just have another project to focus on, which is so exciting. I am still living in Kent. I know a lot of you are asking where it is. Um, it's actually only about 15, 20 minutes from where we are now. So the same area, which is really nice because I do love it around here. We found some really nice pubs, some really lovely restaurants, really lovely local shops, and all of our friends are here. We're actually moving really close to a couple of our friends which is really nice so we will actually be in the same village as two couples that we're really good friends with so i'm just so excited for like the next chapter of life i don't know what it is but recently i don't know if it's because we're coming to the end of the year or i don't know i feel very reflective and like i just feel so lucky and like grateful at the minute for everything i have and i'm just loving it 
so anyway that was a bit of a detour i am just getting ready um i cleaned all my makeup brushes yesterday and it just is so lovely using fresh makeup brushes to film today and just have a really productive day the sun is shining it's a beautiful day and I'm really looking forward to just getting lots of content done. I've got a call with my manager later on as well, which will be really good. Okay, I am about to start filming. I have got all my outfits laid out here. My camera is in position. This is usually where I film. I keep my tripod on the sofa, um, so it's a little bit higher. And then this is what you see in my reels. Very Christmassy with the star and the Christmas tree reflection. Um, it's a beautiful day today. Can you see the light? Wow, lovely. Good afternoon, everyone. I have finished filming for the day, which is so good. I feel so productive. I have got so much done and I love the reels and the outfits that I've just shot. So very excited to put them live this week. Um, it is freezing cold. Oh my goodness. I think it's minus temperatures outside. And as we are in a cost of living crisis, I don't want to put the heating on. I've got one radiator on in the apartment, which is in the office. So I've just been sat in there editing. But I picked up my camera because I'm in a bit of a rut at the moment. And I don't know if anyone else feels like this or gets like this in the winter. But during summer, I have so much energy. I love going on really long walks. If you were watching my content in summer, I was hitting over 10 10,000 steps a day. I was going for one hour walks, sometimes two hours. I was getting up early, doing like Pilates classes, eating really healthy, loads of vegetables, drinking loads of water. And the last couple of months, I just can't be bothered. I'm so cold. I don't wanna go outside for a walk. It's not enjoyable. I can't be bothered to do a workout. When I'm choosing foods to eat, I can't be bothered to make healthy meals, so I just make like two minute quick unhealthy foods, which is fine when you have them like once in a while, but not every single day. Um, and I'm not drinking enough water, so I'm just not feeling healthy at all. Like I'm not feeling confident or, I don't know, I'm just not feeling a fab in my body, I guess. And it just doesn't feel like I'm functioning properly. So. Today is the day I am changing that. I don't want to start the year feeling even more sluggish than I do now. I want to start moving my body more. I don't want to put loads of pressure on myself with this and be like, right, you've got to read a chapter of your book every night. You've got to journal every day. You've got to do a, an hour Pilates class and drink seven liters of water. That's not realistic. I want this to be like a slow burner. I just want to go into January feeling better than I do now. I don't want it to be like a downhill spiral. I am gonna get changed and do a little bit of Pilates. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do a class. I'm not gonna do anything wild. I'm just gonna get my mat out, put some music on and just move my body. And that is gonna help my mindset of just getting back into it. And I'm vlogging it so that I have to do it. <laughs> because this keeps me accountable. Whenever I talk about doing something on my stories, I don't know why my hair looks so red in this light. I think it's because the sun is really low and it's really orange. Um, yeah, whenever I post things on my stories or say it on my vlog, it keeps me accountable because you guys don't forget. And I actually had somebody comment on my morning routine video saying like, when do you exercise? And I was like, oh God. I haven't been at all. That is what I'm gonna do this afternoon and I thought I would include it because I know this time of year gets so shoved down your throat of like New Year's resolutions, like being fit, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not about that at all. I love to set myself goals and you will see my um, video about my goals and vision board and all of that stuff soon. But I wanna start implementing it now. I don't need to wait. I'm constantly saying to myself like, oh, when I move, I will do this or, when it's spring, I'll do this. No, just start it now. 
it doesn't have to be wild, it doesn't have to be a huge transformation, just implement small things into your day, easy things, and you've done something more than you did yesterday. So yeah, I am procrastinating because I've just spoken for five minutes, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep these leggings on. I'm wearing these like split hem flared leggings. Um, I really like these, they're so soft. I think I got these from O Poly actually, ages ago. I did that thing where I type in to Google exactly what I want and I buy it whenever I find it. So that is why I got them from O Poly. I've never ordered from there before. Um, but I love these, they're so soft. So I'm gonna pop a sports bra on because I'm not wearing a bra because who the hell wears bras at home? And I'm gonna get on the mat and do something. So let's do it. Okay, workout outfit, I'm wearing a cream sports bra from Azanola. These are so comfortable. I've got this in a size extra small, I think. Um, and I really like this because it's a really nice length to this um, sports bra. It's padded and then it's not like really cropped. So yeah, it's a really nice length. And then I've just got this other little layer because I'm so cold. This is from Aloe Yoga and I love this. I always wear this to Reformer when I go in London because it's so thin and it's got really long sleeves, which I love a long sleeve. You guys know Jack always calls this snake wrists. <laughs> yeah, and then my leggings are from Opoly. They're just a really cute little split hem trouser really thick and warm as well i love these and i've also got some fluffy socks on and my mat i got from an event with the pilates class it's a really thick black mat so i've gone for this today instead of my neutral bamboo one i've also got my headphones these are sony noise cancelling ones these are actually jacks and he bought them and has never used them once i've used them way more than him um, these are great, I love these. You connect them to an app on your phone and they're just brilliant, they're such good sound. So let's get this body moving and do something. A lot of dancing and singing um, and oh my god I am so unflexible when I was like peak health and peak Pilates oh my bracelet um, I was so flexible I could nearly do the splits and now I can barely touch my toes it just shows like when did I stop two probably like two and a half months of doing no exercise like the odd thing here and there but nowhere near enough um you just lose it so quickly but that was great and i feel so much better for doing that and i already feel like motivated to do the same again tomorrow i've just made a sparkling water with my um arc machine I absolutely love this. It's so good. If you're looking, if you're struggling to get someone a Christmas gift and they love a gadget and they love sparkling water, get them this. You can add like little drops into it to make it taste different. I've got some drops up here actually that came with it. Um, this one is Citrus Twist. I haven't actually used these before because I just like it on its own. But yeah, this is literally the best invention ever. And what I do is usually like twice a day, I will fill up my bottle, make the sparkling water, put it in the fridge, and then I fill up my glass. Cause I like my water to be like ice cold. Um, so I just fill this up 
all day um and it's great and i love it and also another thing i add sparkling water with seed lip which nadia got me on too actually if you're somebody that likes to have a drink in the evenings or even if you don't drink alcohol but you still like to have some kind of drink um try this because i love it it's the seed lip non-alcoholic spirit this is the garden 108 um flavor and it's so good i add like a shot of this into a glass with sparkling water or tonic water sometimes so feeling much better i feel like i've got a new lease of life now so i'm really going to try and stick with doing that even if i do it at a random time in the day just like whenever i feel like it i'm going to try and stick to it so i'm now going to grab my laptop and get myself organized because i've got a call with my manager in an hour i think so um yeah i'm just i just like to prep beforehand and get any things that i need to discuss written down and yeah so i'm gonna do that now good morning everyone it is friday today i'm in the car on my way to my mum's house honestly it is freezing it's currently one degrees and this morning when i woke up it was minus two so very cold very icy i had to de-ice the car this morning and there was actual snow on my windows but it's a beautiful beautiful day it's so crisp and cold and icy and the sky is completely white so i have a feeling we might get some snow today or tomorrow um, the fields are completely frosted over and my view right now is just stunning. So I am carefully driving to my mum's. Um, I'm literally going so slowly. The car behind me is probably very unhappy, but I do not care. Um, I just get so worried in this kind of weather, especially driving, because you just don't know if there's ice on the ground. I remember being in the car with Jack ages ago now, and there was black ice on the road at the roundabout, and the back wheels skidded, and that was in the truck. So, um, yeah, I get very nervous, but um, I'm very excited for today. I'm going to my mum's first of all, and I'm gonna see Gracie, which I'm so excited about. I haven't seen my dog in ages, so I'm really excited for some cuddles. And then we are actually going to pop into Tunbridge Wells and do a little bit of Christmas shopping, probably grab some lunch, and um, yeah, just have a little lovely girly day, which would be so nice. We haven't done it for ages. Every time I see her, we're always shooting or working, so it'll be really, really nice. I really need to order a new car tripod because I can't find mine anywhere. And you're probably sick of me saying that and you're just balanced precariously on the dashboard so every time i break or um go around a corner you are gonna fly so um yeah i will see you when i get there and i'm very excited for a lovely festive day it's gonna be gorgeous i'm wearing this beautiful coat from french connection which is tula's edit with french connection um I love this coat. It's like a tailored camel colored coat with a belt. Oh, it's such a gorgeous fit. Whoa. Oh my God, honestly, the drivers around here just drive like maniacs. This guy just pulled out in front of me and the camera just flew. Um, oh yeah, and that's it. You just park over there, great, thank you. Um, so yeah, my car is steaming up because I've put the heaters off. So I'm going to catch you in a bit. Um, I'm driving through this high street and it's so stressful driving through here. Um, so yeah, I've also got my leather gloves on to keep my hands warm and I will catch you when I get there and it's not so chaotic for me to try and multitask. <laughs> okay, I've just got to my mum's and I'm not joking, it is snowing outside. I don't know if you will be able to see but there's very fine drops of snow oh my god how christmasy let's go inside and see my doggy anywhere i'm afraid hello 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 oh. where you go come in your beddy show me your bed i bought you this bed <laughs> hello have you missed me oh i've missed you so much come on <laughs> oh. Oh. You haven't forgot who I am then. Sniff, sniff. Okay. 
Okay, we are just in Tunbridge Wells and mum is taking me into the Cotswold Company. I've never been here before, so I'm very excited to have a look around such a gorgeous building. So let's see what we can find. Oh, I love this panelling. That's like the panelling that I would like. Yeah, really nice. And this floor, it's a bit like our old floor. Okay, we have just come for lunch to Coat. Thank you. I've got a fresh mint tea, which is lovely. Mum's got a coffee and we've also ordered some risotto for our lunch. Hello, I am back home. Where can I rest you? On this candlestick. <laughs> I've just got back home. We had the most lovely day today. It was just so perfect. We haven't had a really nice girly day in ages and we just wandered around Tunbridge Wells, looked in a few different shops, looked at a lot of homeware, which has got me very excited. And my mum took me for lunch, which was so nice. We went to Coat and I had a delicious risotto. It was so nice. Yeah, it was just lovely. And then we came back to her house and we took Gracie for a walk through the woods Oh my God, it was beautiful. And my journey home, I was driving through the lanes, I could see all the fields, the sheep, the trees in the distance, and the sun was setting behind me. So as I was driving, obviously forward, um, everything was just golden. And I just kept looking around thinking, oh my God, I just love living here. It was just beautiful. But anyway, completely um, off track there. I'm gonna show you a couple of bits I picked up today. First of all, I got a tree skirt. How amazing is this? Wicker, dark brown. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. And I found this in B&N, 24 pounds. I couldn't say no, even though it's quite obvious that our Christmas tree is already decorated and done. But I hate the bottom of it, it just, it annoys me so much and we're going to keep this tree forever. We're also going to keep this forever. So I thought, do you know what? We're just going to have to make it work. Jack can lift up the Christmas tree and I'll slide this underneath and we'll just make it work because I really wanted it and I love it. So I'm really excited for Jack to get home and to put this under the tree and it will just look finished. And then Christmas wrapping. I've been thinking about how I want my Christmas wrapping to be because I like to make everything just so beautiful. So I actually ordered some ribbon from Amazon and I'm just gonna do simple wrapping this year. I'm gonna do brown paper that can be recycled because a lot of wrapping paper you can't actually recycle because it's like plasticky. Um, so brown paper, really simple. And then I'm just gonna decorate with ribbons that people can reuse. So I found these in Hobbycraft and they're just like a really beautiful, kind of like a champagne-y color. And I just really liked them. They were only one pound for each roll and it's 15 meters. So I got two of those. And then I've just got home and had my Amazon arrive. So let's see what's in here. <gasps> that's huge. Oh my God, that's so good. So these ones from Amazon are great. I got these last year. They are quite expensive. I think these all came to about 40 pounds, which is quite a lot, I guess, when it's just ribbon. But um, now I can see why, because they're massive. So firstly, I got some double-sided tape because I saw a hat on, where did I see it? TikTok maybe? Most of the things I see are on TikTok. Um, and instead of doing uh, sellotape on the outside, to make it really neat, they did it on the inside. And I thought, oh my God, what a great idea. So I've ordered three rolls of double-sided tape in here. When I'm wrapping the presents, I'll show you how I wrap them. Um, and then I got a selection of ribbon. Sorry about that. Um, my neighbor just knocked at the door. But anyway, um, so I've got a gorgeous red velvet ribbon. This is like a Merlot berry red kind of color. Love this. And I think I got two of these. Yeah, two of those. And then I also got, oh my God, this one. I absolutely love. And I think this is gonna be my inspiration for my wreath next year. Um, but this is like a chocolate brown, a chocolate brown silk ribbon. Gorgeous, this is so beautiful. And also this is huge, 45 meters of ribbon here. So hopefully that should last me. 
And then I also just picked up this one just to see what it was like because it was a really nice colour. It's kind of like a um, champagne-y, creamy beige colour. It's coming up quite pink on the camera, but it's much more of a creamy beige. I just thought this was really lovely. So I've got loads of ribbon. Um, I'm all ribboned out and I'm literally ready to go with my wrapping. Um, I just need to get some boxes because I've got a lot of little bits for some of the people in our family. And I want to put them in a nice gift box with tissue paper and wrap it nicely with a bow just so it's all kind of together rather than giving loads of little gifts. I think it's nicer to do it like that. So yeah, that is what I picked up today. Oh, that was a long chat at the door. It's now quarter to five. So I'm going to go and get changed, take my coat off. Although I love this coat. My mum also was like, oh my God, you look so nice today. I was like, it's just the coat. <laughs> Friday night, we're in bed at, what is the time? 8 o'clock. 11.30. <laughs> um, I've just changed the bedding this afternoon and decreased it so we've got a lovely fresh bed. How amazing does that look? 10 past 8, bedtime. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here for today and I'm actually going to just edit it right now and get this up as soon as I can because it's already so long and I'm going to carry on filming over the weekend so I thought I would just put this into two videos so you can watch this one before the next one. So I hope you have enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!